and welcome to the chase. The four total strangers have the combined knowledge to defeat one of Britain's finest quiz brains and take home thousands of pounds. Let's meet the team. I'm Howard, I'm 35, I'm an engineer surveyor and I'm from Cardiff. I'm Sarah, I'm 61, I'm a magistrate from Newcastle upon Tyne. I'm Neil, I'm 39, I'm a video producer from Surrey. It's Neil. Right, Neil. Hey, Brad. You all right, See mate? You? Oh, all right, thanks. Okay, quick fire questions on its way. Get as much cash in the bag as you can. Good luck. Neil, your time starts now. What Scottish poet was born in Alloway, Ayrshire, 1759? Burns. Correct. What former Atomic Kitten member married Mark Croft in 2007? Kerry Katona. Correct. In the puppet show, who is married to Judy? Punch. Correct. What's the capital of Iraq? Baghdad. Correct. Intelligence officer George Smiley was created by which novelist? Le Carre. Correct. On which major river is Glasgow situated? Pass. It's River Clyde. What country has the international dialing code 33? France. Correct. How many stars on the Australian flag? Seven. It's six. What kind of animals are the children's characters Barbara and Celeste? Elephants. Correct. Well, what two-word Latin term means at first sight? Pass. It's prime facie. Which British driver won the 1992 Formula One World Championship? Damon Hill. Nigel Mansell, what Scottish National Park is the largest in Britain? Pass. Ken Gorms. What does the letter E stand for in MBE? <laughs> Out of time. Correct answer was Empire. Seven, correct? Seven thousand pounds. Very, very good. Thank you. Neil, it's time to bring on the chaser. Reasonably impressive. Somewhat weak on geography, though. Scottish you... geography, especially, yes. yeah. As always, Neil, you get a three-step head start on our chaser. If you wish to start a step closer to home, the chaser will offer you one thousand pounds. That's poor. It That's is poor. really poor. However, if you wish to take a step closer to the chaser, if you really have the nerve, twenty-five thousand pounds. Wow, that is big money. She's testing me out. A bit of poker there. Do I have the nerve? Have a chat with your team. See what they think. Okay, team. What do you think? She's very good, Neil, and I need you in that final. Make sure you get on the bottom of the board. OK? I'll see it again. I'll see it again. I would stick. I'll see it again. I would stick. A lot of money. Great offer. It's a very tempting offer, but I think it's more important we get more of us in the final. I'm sticking with 7,000. So the chase is on. Good luck. Here comes your first question. In The Wizard of Oz, which of these characters does Dorothy meet first? Is it A, the Scarecrow, B, the Tin Man, or C, the Cowardly Lion? Let's see what you've put. Put the Scarecrow. Every kid watches The Wizard of Oz. I think I must have seen it 20 times. I've just got a young daughter, so I'm watching it regularly. I'm hoping it is the Scarecrow. Right, OK. The correct answer is... Of course, it's the Scarecrow. Fantastic. You're on a roll immediately. Let's see what the chaser put. Also, the Scarecrow. You're quite right. We've all seen it hundreds of times. Anne was in it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your next question. The singer-songwriter Jacques Brel was born in which country? Was it A, Belgium, B, France, or C, Canada? Let's see what you've put. OK, you've put Belgium. Correct answer is? Want it to be Belgium. Come on, Neil. Yes, well played, mate. Fantastic stuff. That is brilliant. Well done, you. Let's see what the chaser put. Mm, also put Belgium. It's one to remember if somebody forces you to play that tedious, famous Belgians game. Really? What famous Belgian game? I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> Here's the next question. Who was Prime Minister from 1955 to 1957? Was it A, Alec Douglas Hume, B, Anthony Eden, or C, Harold Macmillan? Let's see what you've put, Neil. Alec Douglas Hume. I revised Prime Ministers this morning, but I don't think I revised well enough. I'm not sure at all. Correct answer is... Anthony Eden, ouch, you stay where you are, let's see what the chaser put. Yes, she has, that's not the sort of stuff she's going to get wrong, you have to get these questions right. Yes, he uh, resigned over the Suez Crisis, which happened in 1956. Well, you'll never forget that now, will you? 
Right, I'm here's right. the next question. Uh, what ring name is the American wrestler Mark Calloway better known? Is it A, The Undertaker, B, Hulk Hogan, or C, Gold Dust? Let's see what you've put. The Undertaker, you're a big fan of WWF? Not at all. I've heard of two of them. Correct answer is... Yes, The Undertaker it is. Fantastic. Let's see what the chaser put. He's very scared. How do you know that? You'd be amazed what I watch. Here's the next question. In which Indian city is the Taj Mahal? Is it A, Agra, B, Bangalore, or C, Chennai? You knew that straight away. Let's have a look and see what you put. You put Agra? I think that's one of the ones that I really shouldn't get wrong. Right, that's fine. Correct answer is... Very good. Let's see what the chaser put. I don't think she's going to get it wrong. Still there all the way, but still this piece of daylight between the two of you, which is fantastic. Here's the next question. Who played the title character in the 1999 film The Talented Mr Ripley? Is it A, Matt Damon, B, Jude Law, or C, Ben Affleck? Let's see what you've put. Got to be right this. Almost home. You've put Matt Damon. It's either Matt Damon or Jude Law. I'm just playing the film through in my head really quickly. And I'm not sure. OK, if it's Matt Damon, you're through to the final chase alongside Howard with your seven grand intact. If it isn't, you give our chaser a chance to close that gap and take you out of the game. You've put Matt Damon. Was he the talented Mr Ripley? Yes, well played, Neil. Fantastic, put it there. Well done. There goes your money, joining Howard in the prize fund. Fantastic stuff. Very, very good. He did very well. Well done. Go and join Howard. Congratulations, mate. We'll see you in the final chase. Howard and Neil have made it through to the final chase.